What the fuck is up, YouTube? I'm back. Let's just cut the bullshit. I suck at being a YouTuber. I feel like I've turned a new leaf. I'm getting back on my YouTube grind. No one's gonna believe me, so let's just skip the theatrics of me trying to win you guys back. You're just gonna have to see me post weekly. Anyways, I'm back and I'm unemployed. Yep, I have like low-key a lot of things to update you guys on. Let's just make it quick. I lost my purse a few weeks ago. It kind of became a series on TikTok and a lot of people wanted me to like tell the story of the missing purse. I just got really drunk and I lost it. That That's the story. That isn't the first time I lost my purse, which is just crazy to me, but I got a new purse. We're good now. So that's the purse thing. I'm unemployed again. I wasn't unemployed this morning, but now I'm unemployed. It's, it's new. The whole job thing, it's kind of a bigger story. Make it short for you guys. I had got a social media assistant job a few months ago that I really liked. I didn't even get to tell you guys about it, but then it turned to shit and my ex boss from that job is trying to sue me now. A lot of drama that I don't like to be in. Now he's trying to sue me. Like, I don't know. I, I got like served with papers at my house. I keep getting threatened by this lawsuit. It turned into a big mess. Now I have to get a lawyer and shit. Bitch, I'm 22. I, I was just trying to get a social media job and now I'm in like this big drama lawsuit mess. Being sued by my ex boss. Just another day in my life. But I had got a new job at a cafe. Today was my fourth day but I quit. I quit because like I could sense that I wasn't gonna like it. It was my fourth day and I'm already dreading it. Like how am I gonna go there every day this week? I thought I was gonna like it. I think it's always good to try out things. It's better to try it and not like it than to never know. I was like 30 minutes late today and I was like, well, I'm already 30 minutes late. That's really embarrassing. Also, I had worked there for only three days and I got two parking tickets working there. So I felt like I had already lost so much money working there and I didn't even like working there. I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit for that, but I quit three hours ago and I already got two interviews lined up. I'm a job hopping expert. Obviously, I have other things lined up. It was really spontaneous though. Like, I actually didn't plan to quit today. I just got there and like, I just had this overwhelming, I don't know, it was like God or the universe or something telling me to like, quit. So I had to listen, God's plan. I have a semi plan for my day. It's like my first day being unemployed again. I'm gonna do my makeup, get ready. I have to go replace everything that was in my lost purse today. I think I'm also gonna record the second episode of my podcast today. You know the one I said I was gonna do weekly and then I posted one episode two months ago go and never made a second episode. I really didn't think people were invested in the podcast like that, but I've actually had people like come in my lives and comment on my videos and stuff telling me they're waiting for the second episode, which is shocking to me. Thank you guys for the support though. There was these old guys sitting right in front of my car and they're still staring at me. Anyways, bit check. I hate when old people stare at me. This is Charlie. Isn't he the cutest thing ever? Look at I realized I should have explained more about why I quit my job. I didn't really give any context. You can't even get mad at me. You honestly can't even get mad at me. Why would I stay at a job that I don't like? There were just some red flags. Tiana's red flags for having a job. One, no hot people. If there's no hot people there, why am I even clocking in? I need some motivation, you know? Everyone there was really chill, but it was a lot more older people, which like I didn't realize until I started working there. I was like, wait, all my coworkers are old. Did you say no hot people? <laughs> Bring the misogyny out. Put your clown ass up. Pretty hot dudes to look at. Will you go one right here, Shorty? Sure, you wanna? No, <laughs> this shit. What did this object say? I don't wanna say it. How am I supposed to live somewhere people? with no hot yeah, people? Yeah, no, for real. You can't work there if there's not like hot, hot. Thank you. Hot woman. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be hot woman here, right? No, oh, they love Andrew Tate. <laughs> Andrew Tate. Andrew oh. Tate. Misogyny. I have to take this vlog outside. <laughs> Yeah, I can't work somewhere with no hot people, so that's basically why I quit. I don't like to be somewhere where I'm unhappy. Look at that. I got my shit together. I'm using Google Calendar. It's legit. I have to go replace everything in my purse that I lost when I was blacked out. So let's go do that. I don't know if I did a purse reveal already. This is my new purse. I literally took like so long to get a purse because I'm a picky ass bitch. I'm at Target right now and I'm about to like buy everything to replace my purse. I'm gonna make a TikTok about it. If you want to see that, you can see that. I just finished at Target. I think I'm gonna go to Urban Outfitters. The wallet I had before was so cute and I would always get compliments on it. I don't even think they sell it anymore. I need to get an air tag. That's the last thing I need. Once I get an air tag, I'm never losing this purse. I've lost my purse way too many times to not get an air tag. The first time I lost my purse, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get an air tag for sure. And then I didn't and I'm like, it's okay. I'm not gonna lose it again, dumb bitch.
I've literally been like almost a month without my going out purse. So I'm super happy I finally have one. This purse is exactly what I wanted and I got a bunch of shit to put inside of it. This wallet is not as cute as my other one. I actually don't really like it. I just like the color. What's my favorite color? I literally went to another Target to get the AirTag and then I drove home and then I looked at the box and they gave me a leather AirTag case instead of an actual AirTag. So then I had to go back and get a new one, but I finally got one. We've been waiting for this moment for so long. I've been needing this. You guys don't understand. There's been so many times where I've like left my purse somewhere or just just like misplaced it. So I'm so glad I have this now. Editing my TikTok right now. Being productive. I really wanted to film the second episode of my podcast right now. I don't think I have enough time. I actually thought I was gonna complete everything on my to- <laughs> Oh God, I've been putting off the podcast for so long. If you've listened to my podcast, thank you so much. I'm so sorry for being the worst person ever. Like I'm literally just a bitch for not posting a second episode, but I really thought I was gonna have time to film it today. If I didn't have to go return my AirTag, I would have been able to film it. So thanks Target, but it's okay. I'm unemployed now, so I can just do it tomorrow. I have a nail appointment at six because look at my fucking nails. <laughs> What the fuck? I honestly just don't realize how grown my nails are until people comment on TikTok about it. Someone literally commented yesterday, the nails with skull emoji. And then I looked at my hand, I was like, oh shit, I kind of do need a fill. I think after I get my nails done, my old roommate, Lily, if you don't know, Lily was my old roommate and then she moved out and then my friend Jordan took her place. That used to be Lily's side of the room. But Lily upgraded and she got a studio apartment and I still haven't seen it. She literally texted me, morning, Margarita Monday, the devil on my shoulder for real. I do want to go see her place. Place, and I do love a good margarita. I guess I need to celebrate my unemployment somehow. My nails are done. Now everyone can stop roasting me. Anyways, nails are done. I am going to Lily's house later. I feel like I should like eat dinner. Oh no, she's making dinner actually. She's going all out. She's making us tacos and rice and margaritas. Yay, Mexicans. Okay, I was thinking maybe I should explain why I'm getting sued by my ex boss. I feel like people are gonna have questions about it. If you don't keep up with like my Instagram or like any of my other social medias, you probably have no idea what the fuck is going on. To make it short, and also apparently I'm I'm breaking an NDA by even speaking about it, but I can say whatever the fuck I want because this is just what happened. And I never mentioned that dumbass's name. Why the fuck would I want to be associated with him? That's embarrassing. But long story short, I went on a work trip to Burning Man and it was like really horrible. Top 10 worst experiences in my life. I made a story time video about it because I'm a content creator. If some shit it happens, I'm gonna make a story time about it. So I made a story time about it. I didn't mention my boss's name. I just said what happened. I don't give a fuck if he's a public figure. This could have happened at McDonald's, any job. If my boss did that shit to me, I would make a story time video about it regardless. But he got mad that I told the story of what happened. And then he went on YouTube and called me out by name, trying to make me seem like I'm like a terrible employee and then said I was lying. Which why the fuck would I lie about that? Be fucking for real. I literally have no reason to lie. And I had receipts. But he got mad that I made the story time video said I was breaking an NDA started threatening to sue me and then he was talking shit about me calling me out by name showing my wages our tech for thousands of people to see and he went on TMZ's podcast they DM'd me and said like everything that he's saying I emailed them and I was like yo that's not true but since I apparently can't speak because I signed an NDA I can't defend myself you guys suck and they never responded the episode hasn't aired maybe they have morals probably not but it's a possibility anyways yeah yeah, he's an idiot. He's just dragging this on because he has nothing better to do with his life. Now I have to get a lawyer and shit, which is really annoying, but maybe I'll get a nice little baggie out of this. We'll see. Juice! This is what a real non-binary person looks like. My roommate is non-binary. He goes by... They go by they, them pronouns. <laughs> this is their non-binary outfit. Maybe you should explain. I'm going to my event for Quinceanero. Quinceañero es el título del cortometraje que estrenó exitosamente en el Festival de Cine Latino. Because I wear a dress, I'm constantly forced to have to wear non-binary outfits. I actually really like that purse and I'm gonna take it when he's done with it. When they're done with it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot that I was making a YouTube video. My gas pump is broken on my car. Oh, bro, it stopped again. $20 gets you 3.2 gallon. Welcome to LA. Welcome to LA part two. We just spent like an hour looking for street parking. Also, I, I left my gas tank open, which I've never done before. Is that Lily? That's Lily. Is she dressed Lily? fancy? Oh God. <laughs> Is she dressed fancy? Because I'm literally in pajamas. Christian would never let me, Jordan. They're literally so. matching. Me and Lily would always try to match with Christian and he would get mad and not yeah. match. MTV Cribs. 
After looking for parking, I need a drink. Oh my god, it's so cute. And it smells good in here. Shit. She got the Casamiga. Lily's a mommy. Look at her. Right? Jordan just told me she's taking my dream job as a bar back at the restaurant I tried to apply to. I literally was going to apply to today and then they said they're not hiring anymore. You should I guess. have applied when you had the opportunity. Well, I had another job for three days. Yeah. I want to be a bar back. Speaking of jobs, okay, that's well, the only job. Get to it. The only job that I actually really, really, really want is being a bartender, but you have to be a bar back first. I bought these cups. She just said I bought these cups. All right, it ain't Lily. It's Tiana. <laughs> Literally. This is my first time making a margarita with actual margarita tools. Let's see how I do. I literally slayed this. I'm trying to do this kind of fast because my camera's being a bit. I'm trying to do a shot glass. Do you see how much? Mix, mix, mix. Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, I don't. Oh, 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 wait. This is mine since it's the shitty first one. I literally made rice because I fucking wanted rice. Now he said no. What a bitch. Beautiful. This is like not as much as I expected. It's a little strong. Thank you. It's not bad now. I was trying to mush these. Can we do a shot though? Like a raw dog shot? It is a shot of Monday. One shot. Oh god, why is it doing that? Best bartender in the game. Wait, that was the perfect amount. This looks really? beautiful. Mine looks shitty. I don't want to hype it up too much with that. I actually don't know. Okay. I love extra sugar. More sweetener. Oh, that looks with so the pretty. Try it, Jordan. Mm, that one's good. Yeah. Hit it, salad. Finally, I found my purpose wow, in life. Actually, wait, I, I think believe she it. poured your shot. Oh yeah, I yeah, did. Cheers. Wait, I need water. Oh, wow. Oh, I they already took it. Myself. I had to take the shot by myself now because I. You know what? I think that it. was better than Espelon. No way. Espelon is the best tequila. Mmm. Yeah. Wait, why was that like. I have like a loyalty to Espelon, but that shot wasn't even bad at all. Third time is really a charm. I don't know. I'm not going to hype it up too much. You're like. Ugh. Honestly, that's pretty good, and I don't like, like two shots. Really? Though, Bartender taste has good. Mm -hmm. I am the best bartender on planet Earth. Ugh, I got the shitty one. I just unlocked my secret talent tonight. That's crazy. I feel like God called me to really like provide for everyone today. Look what mommy made me though. Bruh. I'm moving in. Morning motivation with Tiana and Lily. The motivation is shot o'clock. I just made myself a margarita. This only has one shot in it because I'm a sober queen. Okay, well actually, no. That looks beautiful. <laughs> That's really good. Mine tastes like shit. <laughs> to uh, October. Cheers to October, the best month ever. I was thinking about it in the car today. I'm like, October babies are the best. I'm not even just saying that. Wait, I was are you October. an October baby? Wait, what? October 23rd? Yes! 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 Um, when the clubs ask me why I'm That's why she knows. Here I was thinking I had a friend that knew my birthday. Mm. Just an amazing month overall. And fall starts, Halloween, my favorite holiday, my birthday, everyone else's birthday who's super chill and awesome and cool and sexy. October is always just a good month for me. I've never had a bad October. Except last year when I gave myself a concussion. That did kind of ruin my month.